48 degrees out this morning in South Florida, but we're here waiting for the gym to open up. What do you say, Big it's Richard? It's colder than a witch's tit. It's colder than a well digger's ass. That's how cold it is. I don't see a lot of guys here yet. They're a bunch of pussies. They don't want to come in the fucking cold weather and work out. Yeah, we're not used to this uh, 48 degree weather shit down here. Well, I am. I'm from New York. But it's invigorating. I enjoy it in in uh, in brief stretches, three or four days at a time. But right, that's know, about it. It's a good Thanksgiving. I hope everybody eats a lot of turkey. There's a lot of protein in turkey, and uh, I plan on uh, eating that and a few other things, which I don't really want to mention uh, that, on camera. Yes, that'll be fine, Big Richard. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what? It's about 7:45 in the morning. Jim's supposed to open up at eight. Here's their uh, here's their schedule for Thanksgiving right here. And I have to be at work at 10 o'clock, so I got to get a quick workout in. Unfortunately, in my line of work, I'm stuck working on holidays. So we're waiting well, for the uh, gym. As long as they pay you well. I, they do give me holiday pay, which I do appreciate and I do need. So beautiful morning here in Delray Beach. Yes, it is. So what's been going on in the gym? I haven't been in the past week pretty much. Um. Nothing really. Uh, how about Saul? How's Saul? Saul's, Saul's still, uh, you know. Saul's doing all right. He's been in the house. I saw Mike yesterday. Yeah. Are you aware of the renovations going on here in the weight room? No. You're not. No. Big I'm changes. Be surprised. Yeah. Uh, you know the basketball court is permanently closing on December first. Yeah, that I saw a notice. Okay. Of. Are you? That I thought was a waste anyhow. Are you aware of? Well, I have very mixed feelings What's about that. What's going to go in there? A spa. They're putting the whole free weight room where the basketball court is. Oh. And they're putting the whole circuit area where the weight room is. Right. Oh, really? Yeah. And uh, where the circuit area is, apparently they're putting in a whole bunch of cardio machines that are on order, a bunch of new pieces of equipment. Well, now all they need to do is get some Brazilian girls to fly up here and uh, help train me, and I'll be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we got a Brazilian owner, so you should bring up some of the girls from Brazil, you know, with the wax jobs and all that stuff. What are we training today, boys? What are you working, Chuck? Legs still. Legs again? Miles back. Richard, are you doing your usual chest routine down there? Well, I'm going to do chest. You doing chest? <laughs> Look at this. We're opening the joint up this morning. Preloading for me. Yeah, that's right. You don't got to put anything on there, Chuck. Very nice. I love this station. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go warm the hell up and uh, and get started over here. So. You got a sauna here for that? What's up? You got a sauna for that? This if cold. it works. <laughs> when you start right. feeling, I'll start uh, lifting the camera up and down, make it look like you're doing more. Yeah, dude, make it look like I'm doing about 10 more reps. We're doing back today, folks, so I'm doing some pull-ups. Um, don't really know what else to say, so I'm going to do my set, and I'll get in here and film Richard and all these other knuckleheads when I'm done. Three more. Three more. Three more. Even if they're halves, who cares? <laughs> no, man, that's not happening. <laughs> At least the camera wasn't shaking. It, this it's time. Thanksgiving. I'm entitled to be lazy today. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Chuck. I'm just glad the camera wasn't shaking this time. Richard, did I hear you before offer to massage somebody's groin? Well, that girl who's a uh, fitness trainer, 
Uh, she competes also. I can't think of her name. She has her own website. She told me she pulled a groin muscle. I haven't seen her in a while. And I asked her if I could massage it for her. Of course, she got a kick out of that. But I would. I would massage it. She has a great body. Well, we won't, we won't film her, but... Yeah, I can't she, think of her name. She's Otherwise, on the, I'd give her a plug for her website. She's on the elliptical machine, right, over there? Yeah, yeah the little blonde. You know, I try and go out of my way for women that exercise and work out uh, if they need help, whether it be massaging some of their sore muscles or uh, counseling them on dating and things like that. I try and go out of my way. I step up to the plate for that. And, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I want to go to heaven instead of hell. You're just a swell all-around guy, Richard. Fucking right, I am. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 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 you're such a philanthropist, Big Richard. Well, a philanthropist is something else. Like somebody gives away money. I'm more of a philosophical uh, womanizer. <laughs> what, what, Richard, what are you thankful for on Thanksgiving? Well, I'm thankful that I got out of bed this morning. I'm thankful I'm alive. I'm not thankful that I'm... Uh, uh, well, I'll, I'll stick to what I'm thankful for, the positives. I got a great girlfriend, I, I live in a nice place, I've got a good job, I have some good friends, uh, I got a good place to work out. Those are the things I'm thankful for. And of course that I, I can still get up in the morning and, and take a crap and pee, you know? If you can't do that, you're in big trouble. Are you thankful that you're working out next to an old man wearing um Yes. Little biker shorts yes, like I that? Am. I am. I am. Uh, uh, that's what keeps me alive. <laughs> you're thankful awake. that you get to stare at that while you're in between yeah, sets? Yeah, it is. It is. I don't want to commit suicide, but... I won't film them, but... Yeah. <laughs> uh, Anyhow, what are you thankful for? What are you doing for Thanksgiving? I'm, uh, I'm working till 4 o'clock, and then I don't have any plans. All of my family and friends, for the most part, are back up in New York. And I am not able to get time off for the holidays. It's just kind of the line of work that I'm in. Okay. So well, if I major. Had that, I would have invited you to a thank you. Well, dinner. it's not too late, big boy. Well. Huh? It, it, Got an extra chair? The plans are well. It's much more involved than that. Let's put it that way. I needed to have notice. I needed notice. I mean, if you're, is your daughter? Not just my. Is your daughter going to be there? I could, you know. Yeah, my daughter's going to be there, but you wouldn't want to go near her. I wouldn't. I would. I wouldn't have to want to take a turkey leg and shove it up your ass, you know. So, yeah, my daughter's going to be there. My mother, my sister, a That's couple nice. of Chinese foreign exchange students are going to be there that are staying with my girlfriend, kind of. Really? Yeah. That's cool. That's kind of like the movie Sixteen Candles. Remember Long Duck Dong? Uh, no, Any, no. Anyone who's over the age of 30 or 35 will know the reference. I don't remember that movie totally, so uh, you got me at well, a disadvantage. <laughs> Richard, I am jealous. I wish I was with my family over Thanksgiving, but I'm thankful for the fact that I have a good job and I'll be working today making time and a half, so well, I'm gonna remember. not all bad. I know. A lot of people are working today. I'm actually going to go out and look for a couple of gifts today, I think. All right. And I might just do that. Uh, and if you tell me where you're working, I'll bring a group of uh, illegal immigrants over to uh, embarrass you and, and cause havoc, okay? It's a deal. <laughs> uh, sweat. What have you been doing? Nothing much. What's up, Quinn? How, How you, have you been? Doing? Good, brother. Give me one of these. With, uh, you hit my fist. Where's your uh, workout partner? Have you been seeing him lately? Which one? Uh, the Seymour? guy who, who had a calm yeah. over, like... Uh, Seymour? Like, uh, he died like a year yeah. ago. He died a year he ago. He did? The guy yeah. I'm thinking of that you yeah. used to work out with over there? Yeah. I never yeah. knew he died. I would have gone to his funeral. Yeah. Yeah. I would have, I, you know, I owed him $100,000. I would have no, wrote that's... a check and thrown it yeah, in Yeah, his wife would appreciate that. Thrown it into the uh, yeah, grave sure, sure. What, uh, what did he die from? A broken heart? No, he died from uh, just... Uh, drugs? Take care of himself. Are you still on drugs? Steroids? No. You want me to get you some steroids? Yeah, sure. I'll take some. <laughs> I need them. <laughs> so, this guy used to impress the hell out of me across the street when it was the world's gym over there. Yeah, we used to work out there together. He was lifting heavy weights, you know, and I couldn't figure out what the fuck is going on. This guy's older than I am, and he's lifting all this heavy weight. 
And of course, his secret was probably trend balloon or something like See, that. See, people don't realize I've known getting, Richard and Quinn. I shot in my ass. Getting a shot, you know, the, trust, the testosterone shot. I've, yeah. no, I've known you jerk since 1998 yeah. from the old world's gym across right. the street. This guy would walk in and all the women would look at him, you know. Yeah. He had more pussy chasing him oh, than, you know, anybody. Uh, Richard, you'll never change. <laughs> we love him. We love him just the way he is. You're right. What are you going to work out today? Or are you going to philosophize? I'm going to uh, do some of my, uh, you know, arms. Okay, biceps. Yep. Good. Try to keep uh, somewhat uh, in shape. Good. Is your car out front? Yeah. Oh, uh, because I'd like to rob it. Oh, I'm okay. going to have somebody rob your car uh, while you're in right here. It, no, I, I want it to look like an actual robbery. I'm gonna, huh? And you don't have to break the window. Richard, I like the idea of a of a Delray Misfit Thanksgiving feast. We can set up a table on the basketball court. It's like a, you know the Last Supper. That's right. Since the basketball court's closing. Yeah, and then somebody can come in there and they can tase us all. Yeah, the, that's right. The basketball court is closing. We can have a Last Supper there. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. Well, we should set up uh, coffee and donuts or something for another time. Anyhow, this is a cold morning in Delray Beach. It's taken me a while to warm up. Yeah, you and me both. It's all right. I don't want to. I don't want to rush my workout. Richard, you know what I'm going to do the next time you're doing a set? I'm going to have everyone in a weight room come over here and start taking weights off the rack here, so you can get pissed off. better they know better than to fuck with me in the gym not go after me <laughs> that's one thing I don't do that's why a lot of them think I'm a psycho because I go after them for fucking around while I'm or bothering me while I'm doing a set I don't mind after the set you know? but uh, yeah I got a thing but you know that's proper gym etiquette which a lot of people don't know today Richard, you still working or are you... Yeah, yeah, I'm working. I'm actually supporting you with my uh, tax dollars. Good. Uh, you know, Social Security. I'm supporting you and I'm supporting myself because That's I good. took That's I took great. early Social Security. That's great. When you get Social Security, uh, you know, you'll... I am getting it. Oh, you are? Yeah, I took it early. Okay. So I'm working also. But I work more than I'm supposed to. So, so they hit me. They twice. hit me. Right. So, uh... There's no free lunch. No. We need to change the uh, the administration. Yes. I particularly didn't vote for Obama. He I know you did didn't. Yeah. Right. But hopefully he will be out, and we won't have anybody like Hillary Clinton in office because yeah. I can't stand her. Uh, and I can speak openly because I don't have to be politically correct. Right. I wouldn't vote for Hillary Clinton uh, if she was the last candidate. And I don't care what Republican is going to be up there. I'm going to vote for them. I'm not voting for any Democrat. They fucked up this country, in my opinion, and they're fucking it up even more. It's getting worse and worse. Hopefully, or fortunately, we only have another two more years of this shit, and that's it. He's already becoming a lame duck, Obama. You know. All right, now Chuck, man, I know you're doing calf raises here. Is it or is it not true that yesterday you almost got stuck on this machine? Hell yeah, man. Had five plates on. Do, do tell what happened. Did you? Someone almost had to come rescue you on the calf machine. I had five plates. Almost locked my legs underneath it. Did two and a half reps. I was cramped up and tapped out. I was done. The caffeine pills were. It's, it's not gonna happen today with two plates, is it? Oh, uh, it still might. <laughs> now, if I was two doing, in a row. if I was doing this, if you had up, one man? 25 pound plate on there, I would probably get stuck. It's all about getting stuck, man. Can't if you ain't trying hard enough. Wait, shit. I'm fucking up on this. <laughs> if you don't fail, you ain't trying hard enough. <laughs> right, I, I'm going to stand right here just to make sure. Good job, Chuck. Two days in a row. You're right. You're gonna, you're gonna make it. You're right. No, I'll cramp up tomorrow. <laughs> Film me walking in tomorrow. It'd be funnier. <laughs> <laughs> Got Quinn working his biceps over here. Oh no, I'm sorry. You're doing reverse curls. Reverse curls. 
That's what happens when I look at the LCD screen. I can't see clearly. An old wet fart or just an old fart? Just an old fart. I guess then you'd be, you'd be an old shart. Shart. <laughs> if, if that was the case. Yeah. <laughs> See, I've known Quinn since 1998. I can talk a little shit to him. We, we go, I go back okay. at a lot of these guys many, many, many years. He's been a good man to me, this guy. Is that cook still there? That, uh... Chef Brian? Yeah, Chef. Chef Brian does no longer work. Do you need to get in here? I'm sorry. I just need to grab those when he's finished. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I no longer work with Chef Brian. He works no. at a different club, but we oh, yeah. still talk every now and then. Yeah. From time to time. So he lost a lot of weight? I haven't seen him since March. I don't know. No His weight fluctuates. Yeah. But he's always one strong dude. That, that's he is that's a the strong truth. Dude. He's a guy. Un unlike this guy right here. Yeah. Oh, lightweights, man. <laughs> huh? I think we crippled tomorrow, man. <laughs> okay, Chuck, here's the deal. When Richard starts doing his set, I'll give you 10 whole dollars if just start fucking taking plates off the weight tree on the Smith machine as soon as he starts his set. You know, that's tempting, man, but, you know, I don't want him to have to try to kick my ass now. How about $12? $12. $12 and an energy drink. Maybe $12.01. <laughs> I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk around the gym and offer people twenty dollars to to take plates off the weight tree when as soon know, as Richard starts doing his set. If I knew set. him a little better, I would. <laughs> hey, here he goes. There he goes. Come on, Chuck. Ten dollars. You know, if you ten dollars. Thirteen dollars. Fourteen And I'll pay all your medical expenses. <laughs> Richard, I'm gonna walk around the gym and I'm gonna offer people $10 to start stripping your Smith machine as soon as you start doing a set. Well, we'll see if anybody takes up the money. Chuck, Chuck declined. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck was tempted, but... Hey look, they said no chalk. Somebody snuck in here and used some fucking chalk. Oh yeah, I see that. Power. It's probably Lenny. Lenny is the only one I know that uses chalk. I would love to film Lenny. We just don't train at the same time. I mean, I use uh, powder at home around my balls, but I don't use. Chalk. Oh no, Richard, no. no? Wait, wait, this is. I'm just joking. Oh, that's right. This, I gotta, this I is the new. Tone it down. I gotta tone it down. Yeah. No, no genital talk, please. Yeah, I just want to wish everybody in the gym, all these muscle heads, these juice heads, a happy Thanksgiving, and all you viewers, a happy Thanksgiving to you. And may the holidays uh, bring you a lot of uh, joy and happiness. And I'll see you on the next video, which will probably be soon. And make sure you eat a lot of protein and work out. That's about it. I don't know what else to tell you. That works for me. And take care of your loved ones, especially your girlfriends. If you need advice, just write in and I'll give you some advice on what to do with your girlfriend. <laughs> Does it involve a turkey baster or not? Well, uh, it involves uh, body parts. Let's put it that way. It involves body parts. This gym is actually very busy this morning for a holiday morning. We got a good crowd here. Yeah, everybody wants to stay in shape. And uh, that's about all, folks. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. What is this? What's going on? Hallmark greeting. He thinks I'm making a Hallmark greeting card commercial. Hallmark wouldn't let me talk to them. Can you imagine Richard writing Hallmark cards? Yeah, right. <laughs> Actually, uh, I was a, a consultant for... Uh, it was start off to the ladies. But will you fucking consult? Yeah, he, 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 he could start off with Valentine's <laughs> yeah, cards, well, I, right? I wouldn't use that word. Roses are red, violets are blue. Be, uh, it would be more like twat instead of <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, soften it up a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I never, I never said a curse word in my life until I met you, Alan. Yeah. You, you, uh, you corrupted me in the gym here. I was a nice religious rabbi. You were an altar boy. I was an Orthodox rabbi until I met you. <laughs> when you left Miami Beach, they went. <laughs> right, right. 
fucking Sinatra was right. He told me to stay away from you. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Goodbye.